since Disney bought Lucasfilm and the Star Wars franchise in 2012, the fate of the Star Wars universe and canon have been in question. When we say canon, we are not talking about a weapon of war. Canon is the material accepted as officially part of the story in an individual universe of that story by the creators. The opposite would be fan fiction, where fans create whatever material they want. The Star Wars universe was made up of the six movies. It also included a ton of stories from various novels, comic books, and video games, which together we called the Expanded Universe. When Disney took ownership of Star Wars by purchasing Lucasfilm, they decided to erase the existing Expanded Universe from canon, and renamed it to Legends. Since then, Legends has been its own brand, which does not contribute to the canon. But also, they have started a brand new Star Wars canon, with brand new books, TV shows, and video games. Let's take a look at what the current canon looks like as defined in the beginning of 2016. Star Wars canon consists of the six movies. The new three announced Star Wars movies, episodes 7 through 9, and the existing Clone Wars cartoons called The Clone Wars, and the precursor movie also called The Clone Wars. Since then, Lucasfilm has announced some standalone movies in the works. The only two officially announced is Rogue One and an untitled young Han Solo movie. There is also the new TV show, Rebels, which is currently in its second season. Books or novels were a huge part of the expanded universe, and they will still be a huge part in the new canon. The new canon novels are A New Dawn, Tarkin, The Rebels books starting with Edge of the Galaxy, Heir to the Jedi, Lords of the Sith, Dark Disciple, The Weapon of a Jedi, Moving Target, Smugglers Run, Lost Stars, Aftermath, Battlefront, Twilight Company, The Perfect Weapon, Before the Awakening. There are also the four short stories from the series From a Galaxy Far, Far Away, which will eventually be compiled into one book. The novelizations are also canon. However, Del Rey Books has clarified that they are, quote, Canon only when they align with the movies. To me, that means only the content from the movies are canon, which is another way to say the novelizations do not contribute to the canon. Perhaps someone from Lucasfilm can comment on this matter. Then there are also the adaptation novels, like Escape from Darth Vader, which is really just a condensed, kidified excerpt from Episode 4. These novels are considered canon, but they don't really contribute to the canon. There are new comics that are also part of the canon, published by Marvel Comics. Star Wars. Darth Vader. Kanan. Princess Leia. Lando. Chewbacca. Vader down. Shattered Empire, C-3PO, Obi-Wan and Anakin. You can also find the four-issue Dark Horse comic Darth Maul, Son of Dathomir, in the canon as well. It is included because it is a part of an unfinished storyline from the Clone Wars cartoon, and is in fact the only non-Marvel comic in the Star Wars canon. The new video games are also part of the canon. Sort of. I like to say they are partially canon. There is Star Wars Battlefront and Star Wars Uprising. I say they are partially canon because of an interview with Patrick Bach, developer at DICE at IGN.com. Patrick says, In the trailer, 
a flaming Star Destroyer sinks into the dunes of Tatooine. That doesn't mean it happened. Sullust, as seen in Battlefront, is the Lucasfilm-approved version of the planet. All of this means that the gameplay is not necessarily canon, but the locations, as they appear in the game or other single-player plot lines, is what they truly look like in canon. Lastly, the short stories in the official magazine Star Wars Insider are also canon. In issue number 150, they announced that the canon short stories began in the previous issue with the story called Blade Squadron. There is also a Rebels magazine that features short comics which are also canon. So far, this is the current Star Wars canon. TheyMightBeGeeks.com has a great hierarchy of proof they use to determine what material is more canon than another. This list is completely unofficial, but you should be able to use it as a guide. If you want to play it safe, stick with the top two items. You can't go wrong. The Lucasfilm Story Group is a division of Lucasfilm Limited that helps determine all Star Wars canon. It was founded in 2013 as an initiative from Kathleen Kennedy, the successor of George Lucas at Lucasfilm. The two main members of this group are Leland Chi and Pablo Hidalgo. If you see them commenting on the Star Wars canon, you can safely consider those comments to be canon. The entirety of the Star Wars Expanded Universe, or Legends at this point, has been discarded so far. Lucasfilm has stated that, quote, Elements introduced in the Expanded Universe material remain available for use in the future. This means that while some of our favorite stories are now non-canon, there is the possibility that they can return in some shape or form. The elimination of the Expanded Universe into Legends was traumatic for many Star Wars fans, and understandably so. Many of us grew up reading these stories only to have it pushed to the side. If you are one of the people holding out because the Expanded Universe got canned, please don't be stubborn like I was. Things are changing, and that can be good. The new canon is young and small. Take advantage of that, and get caught up in this new Star Wars universe we live in, and enjoy these new stories. What do you think of the new Lucasfilm canon? Do you have a favorite book or TV show episode? Let me know in the comments section. Thanks for watching.